Morning world, it's uh, 10 o'clock, 10.30 in the morning on the 9th of January. I'm about to go away on tour for three or four days. So I thought I'd leave you with a few videos. There's going to be a few more over the coming couple of days. Today, yesterday I did Pluto and it seems that you like that. So today, here is the definitive 2014 guide to who's getting both affected and hit by Neptune. Neptune Illusion, deception, vagueness, gullibility, escapism, avoidance. Dissolving, releasing, blending, asceticizing, becoming more subtle and spiritual, artistic. Intuitive, imaginative, creative, empathic, compassionate, sensual, spiritual. Neptune's in Pisces, it's home. The press it's getting in the first two years of Neptune in Pisces is not good. All the Pisceans I'm hearing are who are being affected by Neptune are in, um, well, it's not the easiest to transit, let's put it that way. Neptune is affecting, is conjuncting the sun of those Pisceans born around February the 24th, 5th, 6th this coming year. And it's likely to be a bit of a nebulous year for you guys, and it's not a year for long-term commitment. And in a similar vein, neither is it a time for long-term commitment for those Virgos whom Neptune is opposing your sun. And this is going to be those of you born around the 29th, 30th and 31st of August. Not a good year for signing long-term contracts. Similarly, it has to be said that those Geminis born around um, at the end of the first week of Gemini, i.e. around the 27th, 28th, 29th of May, and for that matter, those Sagittarians also born around the uh, 28th, 29th, 30th of November, you're the guys who are getting hit big time by Neptune over this coming year. And there's an element of dissolving, of releasing, of letting go, of slippage. And the more you try and hang on to things, people, situations and environments, the more they're going to slip between your fingers like sand and water. You may experience a degree of fatigue, not exhaustion, illness, disease, or but fatigue and weariness over the coming year if you're one of these people that's being affected by square opposition or conjunction from Neptune. However, Neptune is also trining the sun of those people born at the start of Cancer, i.e. 27, 28, 29 June, and those people born at the start of Scorpio, i.e. Uh, 29, 30, 31 October. If you're one of these two groups of people, then this year is likely to have a much more sensual, artistic and intuitive capacity. It's latent, it's not potent, but it will be there if you choose to enact it. And there are certain people for whom Neptune is working very well indeed. Here I'm looking primarily at those Taurians born around the 26th, 27th, 28th of April. And also I think those Capricorns born in December, particularly around the 27th to the 29th stroke, 30th of December. Here Neptune is much more potent and it's bringing the opportunity for much more sensual growth development in a much more all-rounded, gentle, intuitive, compassionate way. You're not going to be going to punk rock concerts over the coming year if you're one of these people. Neptune in Pisces, it's not really affecting the other planets and Neptune's role over the coming year is pretty much limited to that of the individual influences. Nevertheless, if you're getting hit by Neptune, then you would be forgiven for saying, do you know what, I want to stay in bed for 10 minutes extra. or I want to get up, go to bed five minutes earlier. If Neptune's hitting you hard, sleep more, drink well, eat well, look after your body. If Neptune's hitting you positively, then use this opportunity to develop and embrace a more holistic, artistic, sensual and even spiritual lifestyle. Catch you later. Bye.